Yeah, I, I got to get it to record. There we go. Okay, well, hey, we're down at Timeless Arts Refinishing. <clears throat> we got this beautiful walnut cabinet that we refinished. Um, well, actually, just the top. Um, you mind moving that stuff off that door? Yeah, thank you. And um, and after we got the cabinet completed, the owner um, called me and said he'd like to have this the ivy leaves the, the ivy leaves painted back on the top, which uh, this is what it looks like on the, on door. the door. So right here. So that's what it looks like on the door. When the cabinet came to me, it did not have any ivy leaves on it, but I could tell that it did have them on at one time. Um, so anyhow, Sandy's um, doing a little painting over here. I'm sorry, I'm a little fast. Well, what she does is she's put on a little... Um, this is the pin dot pattern. Yep, pin dot pattern, and she's... That I made, and now I'm just paint, painting and the little leaves back on. I'm just gonna. Well, she's done about oh three quarters of, of the way around the cabinet, and I figured I'd like to just show the people how Sandy does it. She's using a oil paint. Once again, this is going back on a John Whittacombe's cabinet that somebody was playing with the top before it came to me. The customer wanted to have me refinish it because the top was all cracked. So, um... That's why the cabinet's here. So we got her all completed and rubbed out. Looked like a million bucks. And then the owner said, I'd like to have the ivy leaves put on. So I said, no problem. We wet sanded the top down good and cleaned it up. And Sandy made a pattern. And she's almost done with it now. The little pounce that you see, the little white pigmented powder, is how she kind of lays it out and knows where to go. After the paint dries good, we will... Um, that'll just wipe off. Yeah, that'll wipe right off. We'll clean it up. I've also got some blue tape along the edge here. And on this side over here, the left side, along with some paper just to keep that top clean. Normally, Sandy wouldn't have... She wouldn't have taped that up like that, but it... Am I in your way, honey? Yep. No, you're fine. Sorry, I'm trying to do the best I can to hold this cell phone straight. So if anybody out there sees this and on YouTube and you got a piece of Kendall or Whittacombs or Baker that was hand decorated like this and you need to need it done, we can do it down here at Timeless Arts Refinishing in Grand Rapids. I have no problem doing the finish work, but uh, I can't do the decorating work. But Sandy can. <laughs> you did that whole thing with your lining brush? Yeah. It was just quicker this way. I'm 
and two, two a little. Okay, that's probably good. Yeah, once that oil pigment dries enough to where I can clean it up, I'll just wipe that up a little bit and um, it'll be off. I'll pull my paper off and we'll shoot it with another two or three coats of lacquer and let it dry for a couple of days and hand rub it out and um, she'll look beautiful. That was that. Thank you. Hello. You're welcome, honey. And this is the original one on the door here. It's all hand done. It's all hand painted, so... Being hand painted, everything looks a little bit different. You're just stroking it with your hand and going to it. Trying to move kind of slow here. There's the master. And this is a very, very pretty little design on here. Um, but Sandy does some beautiful work. I mean, this is kind of a very simple little design, but it's that very beautiful. I'm just going to let her finish up. <clears throat> kind of rough working in here the last few days. They take a grand piano out and they bring another one in here. There's a little spinet piano here. We got some nice bottles of water and some more furniture over here. More stuff buried over here and over there. But we've been uh, steadily kicking it out the door, so that's all we can do. Alrighty, well, thank you and have a nice day.